This is the bodyguard pump. This is a two channel pump. We're gonna talk about the operations of this pump. So to start, you have your on off button. Go ahead and push your on button. It's gonna do a user test. In order to know what channel you're in, you're gonna look for your red light indicator. Right now we're in channel one. Down here, your channel select button. If you click that, you'll go to channel two, indicated by your red light. To go back to one, click your channel button again. You're now in your first channel. So what we're gonna talk about now is actually how to change between the different modes. So if you push and hold your stop button, you have this option to change. You have your up arrow and your down arrow. Note that your up arrow is two and your down arrow is zero. You have continuous infusion, intermittent infusion, dose, and TPN. We're gonna work with the continuous infusion because most medications that you'll be transporting with are a continuous infusion. So select OK. So we actually need to clear out the memory of the last infusion. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the info button right here. And you're gonna push and hold the stop button until everything zeroes out. Once it zeroes out, hit the start OK button. And now we're just going to confirm we're still in channel one, continuous infusion. Click OK. So what is our rate in mLs per hour? Note it's mLs per hour, not milligrams or micrograms. It's mLs per hour. So for this, we're just going to say it's 125 mLs an hour. Click OK. So this is the volume to be infused. So this is what's left in your bag. Not necessarily what your bag size is. For training, we're gonna say that we're gonna infuse 500 mLs. Click OK. So now you're just gonna confirm that it's 125 mLs an hour, a five, 500 mLs to be infused, and so far we've infused zero mLs. So we're actually gonna connect our, pump, our tubing to the pump. So we're gonna open up our uh, door latch, it's going to open up the channel. This is the pump tubing. Note the square cut out here and the blue ring up on top. In your pump, down here you have a square cut out as well and you have a circle up here. What we're going to do your uh, your square is gonna fit right into your square cutout at the bottom of the pump, just like that. And make sure it's in there. Your blue ring is gonna go right into the top part. Make sure that there's no kinks anywhere in the tubing, especially where it comes in and out of the pump. Go ahead and close your door and make sure you hear that click so it's latched. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to prime the tubing so we're going to hit the prime bolus button right here, click it once, and it says prime, disconnect patient, press OK. We're disconnected, so we're going to hit OK. This tubing here takes approximately 6 mLs in order to bleed the line. Once you have infused 6 mLs, check the tubing, make sure you have no air in the tubing. Once you're all set, hit the stop button, that's going to stop the priming process. Now we're ready to infuse to our patient. Connect to your patient using aseptic technique. Hit the start button and it's going to start infusing into your patient at 125 mLs an hour. Save at any time you need to stop the infusion or you're at said destination. You're going to hit the stop button and it's going to stop the infusion. Now we're ready to disconnect the tubing from the pump. Open up your door latch at the bottom here again. It opens up the channel. Go ahead and pull your tubing out. Just like such. Close your door. Push your on off button. Hold the off button. Now it's note, important to note that with the on off button, when you go to turn the pump off, whatever channel you're in, that's what, that's what pump will turn off. So if you're in channel two, when you hold the off button, channel two would turn off, and then channel one, you have to do the same thing to turn that one off. And that is operations of the bodyguard. Hey, Kate.
All right, so now we're gonna talk about connecting your patient to your bodyguard pump. So you need your bodyguard pump, you need your bodyguard tubing. Go ahead, open up your tubing. Keeping the ends of your tubing sterile, we're gonna uncoil it. We're gonna shut off the roller clamp on our patient's line. And we're gonna disconnect it from the patient. We're gonna go ahead and remove the pump tubing from the hospital pump. Make sure to unclamp their tubing as well. Go ahead and connect the hospital's tubing to your tubing. And now we're gonna connect our tubing into our pump. Go over to your pump, open your panel. The black part is gonna fit right into the bottom and it can only fit in one way. The top part, the blue, is fits in right into the top, just like that, and close your channel door. Turn your pump on. In this case, we're doing continuous, 125 mLs an hour, using a 500 bag. Now we're gonna prime our tubing. Make sure you open up your roller clamp. Hit prime, disconnect patient, press okay to start. Make sure we're disconnected from the patient, which we are. We're gonna hit start, and it's gonna prime the tubing. For, uh, for this tubing, approximately six mLs will actually flush this line. All right, we've, once we've hit six mLs, we're gonna check our tubing. Make sure there's no air bubbles in the line at all, which there are not. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna stop our prime. We're ready, this, we're ready to connect to our patient now. So following aseptic technique, we're gonna use our alcohol swab. We're going to scrub the hub on the patient's port. Remove our cover and attach our pump tubing to the patient, just like that. Make sure there's no kink in the, kinks in the line anywhere, which we don't have, and we're gonna hit start. It's now going to infuse into our patient at 125 mLs an hour. This is how you charge the bodyguard pump. At the bottom, you have a three-prong system. Every truck will have the charging cord. Again, it's a three-prong. It can only fit in one way. And it's gonna indicate that it is charging. Your pump should be plugged in when it is not being used. However, it will last several hours um, on the battery. And you should have two indicator lights here in red indicating that both channels are charging. So I'm going to talk about how to secure your bodyguard pump to your IV pole. In the back of your pump, you have your clamp adjustment. If you scroll it up, clamps, you bring it down, it loosens it up. Right onto your IV pole, scroll it up, it's now secured to your IV pole. One nice feature is you can actually take off the bottom part of the pump to make it more portable. Down here, you have your metal screw. Go ahead and unscrew this. Make sure you actually are holding on to this part here. And you can actually pull this right out and it still works. Makes it very portable when you're transferring your patient over or when you're just trying to get things going with it. When you're done, you're gonna lock it back in here. The most important part is that the left side goes in first. Left side in, push it in, hold it in place. Here's your screw screw it right back in.